Good morning, everybody. It's Lindy. So, in a prior video, I had mentioned that I was thinking about making a video about jeans and how I process them, how I price them, how I list them, how I package them, um, just because jeans are something that is so familiar to me. I mean, I started my whole eBay journey with jeans. Um, so, I mentioned it in a video and you guys said you'd be interested in it, so I'm making it! This is my video about jeans! Okay, so the first thing that you want to do if you're going to sell jeans is you need to familiarize yourself with really popular brands. Um, lucky for us, there are so many brands of jeans that are streamlined. They're the brands that you hear everywhere. There's not a whole lot of super funky brands that you don't know about. And usually if there's a super funky brand that you don't know about, it's probably because it's not too high a value. So you might not even really want to waste your time dealing with them anyway. But that part's up to you. Me personally, I prefer to buy name brand jeans that are streamlined that a lot of people are going to be looking for. Um, I like to look for brands that I know are going to trigger a lot of good keywords. I also look for jeans that are styles that are going to trigger a lot of keywords because if you have a lot of good keywords in your jean search, people are going to be better, easier, better, easier, better, they're going to be better able to find your listing. <laughs> If you're just starting with jeans and you aren't exactly sure how to start your research, let's say you already have a few brands of jeans in your head but you want to expand a little bit, I highly recommend that you go to eBay and you search the word jeans, just jeans, look for sold listings within a 20 mile radius of your location. What that's going to do is that's going to tell you the brands of jeans that sellers in your close vicinity are selling because that means those are the brands of jeans that they are finding where you live and those are the brands of jeans that are selling. So that will at least help you get started. If you're not exactly sure of a whole lot of brands, that's the easiest way to get familiar with the brands that are in your local area and are selling. It'll also help you get a good idea for how much they're selling for, which will come in handy when you start doing the actual listing, okay? The next thing that you wanna do is find a location for you to source jeans at a really good price. Jeans, you have to be very, very careful with pricing because they always weigh over a pound. The only exception to jeans weighing less than a pound are children's sizes and super small junior sizes that happen to be like skinny leg where there's not as much fabric. Those push the top side of first class but they can still go first class. Every other pair of jeans out there, it's going to weigh over a pound. So it's going to cost more to ship them. So in order for you to keep your profits as great as possible, you have to be really careful for how much you are spending on a pair of jeans. For me personally, I do not have a Goodwill outlet. It's sad, but it's true. I'm stuck with shopping at regular Goodwills and regular thrift stores for my jeans. I personally have come to realize that the most, the absolute most that I could spend on a streamlined pair of jeans is $3. That is the most I can spend on a streamlined pair of jeans. Because when I say streamline, I mean brands like Levi Strauss or American Eagle or Gloria Vanderbilt or... Wow, I can't think of any jeans right now. Anyway, I've been doing this long enough to know that streamlined jeans like that, I sell for $14.99. Now that does include free shipping. Of course, it's not really free shipping because I always factor in shipping costs with my pricing. But I don't really vary the prices of jeans. I find that it's way too difficult and takes way too much research to price each individual pair of jeans differently. I basically have done this long enough to know 
that these certain jeans I lump into one category and it's $14.99. These jeans I lump into another category and it's $15.99. These jeans are $16.99 and so on and so forth. That just comes from personal experience, but I'll kind of, you know, tell you what I look for and why I price jeans the way I price them. The first lump group that I do for streamlined jeans are the lower end. Um, usually they are junior sizes like, you know, Arizona jeans or maybe a Walmart brand of jeans. Um, the lower end JCPenney jeans like maybe Sonoma or Riders. Those jeans I try to not pay more than a dollar for. Um, I tend to find those kind of brands at um, garage sales so I try to not pay more than a dollar for those brands and those I sell for around $13.79 with free shipping and I get about a five dollar net profit after shipping costs fees and the product cost so that's the first category juniors and lower brand sizes or not sizes <sighs> lower brands that are for places like uh, Walmart, um, not necessarily Target, but you know, Walmart and the lower end of the JCPenney's brands. Those are more $13.79. The next category is the one that I have the most access to and it's the one that's the most popular in my store. Those are the main streamlined brands. Those are the Levi's. They are the American Eagle. They are, um, Lee, I mean, they're the most general jeans, the most general, um, the ones that are just the plain boot cut. They're the regular relaxed fit. Those I always sell for $14.99 and I try to never pay more than two, maybe $3. If it's American Eagle, I'll go to more of the $3 side, but I try to not pay more than $2. And I get those prices at my Goodwill by only shopping half off tags. So at my Goodwill, jeans are $3.99 and then on a 50% off day, they're $2 a pair. So at $2 a pair for $14.99 after doing shipping costs and fees, my total profit is just over $5 for those mainstream jeans. The next category that I work with are the specialty sizes. When I say specialty sizes, that's when I'm referring to the mainstream jeans with the specialty inseams. Like all of the, you know, shorts, <laughs> the American Eagle um, short inseams or tall inseams or the Levi's that are the long inseam or the short inseam. Those I price at $15.99. I don't pay more than $3 a pair, but I, just like with the mainstream jeans, I price them a dollar more because of the specialty inseam, so it gets me about a $6 profit per pair. The next category is the upper streamlined jeans. Those are the things like Hollister, or American Eagle that are the destroyed cuts or the uh, distressed. Any jean that is a mainstream jean that has any gem embellishments, distressed, destroyed, if they're anything funky about them that makes them different than just regular boot cut jeans, I price those around $16.99 or $17.99. But again, I don't pay more than two or three dollars a pair because then that eats into my profits. So with a $16 or a $17.99 sale price with free shipping, after fees and product costs, my total profit is around six or seven dollars per pair. And the last category is one that I unfortunately don't get very much. Those are the really, really nice brands like Silver Jeans or Seven for All Mankind or Miss Me or, you know, just the really the higher brands that you would pay greater than $50 for new. Those I don't have a special price for. I do price them specially just because I don't get my hands on them very much. So if I have 
a special brand like Silver Jeans or Miss Me Jeans or Rock Republic Jeans, I will look at comparable prices and try to price at right around the other sold listings. And for those, I usually try to net at least a $10 profit, if not more. I wish I could find them more often because I love $10 profits, you know? Okay, so now we're gonna talk about creating the listing. Okay, these are silver jeans. Yay, I got these at a garage sale. These I paid $5 for. I forgot to mention those uh, last category jeans. I try to not pay more than $5 for those just because I know I can sell them for a lot more. So when I'm creating a listing, you, in the title, you always have to do certain keywords. You know, for these jeans, they're the Laura, so people are gonna be looking for this certain cut. Um, if there's any distressing, if there's any fading, if they're a certain cut, if it's a boot cut, if it's a relaxed fit, if it's a skinny leg, if it's a legging, you wanna put those in the title because those are awesome keywords that are gonna trigger, trigger people in search to come to your item. When I do listings, I always put measurements in there, okay? When I do measurements, I always do rise, which is the measurement from this mark to the top button. That's your rise. I measure that, I put that in the listing. And then I do waist. Waist, of course, is this point to this point. I measure how far across it is. I always do hips, which are this point to this point. You'll find it going right across the bottom of the zipper, that point to that point. I do that measurement. And then the final one is inseam. That's from this point where we did the rise. It's from this point down to the bottom hem of the leg. That is the inseam, okay? So that is how I measure them. Photographs, I photograph a lot differently than clothes. I do the thing where people lay pants on the floor. I do that. Of course, I use a decorative fabric to make it look a little bit better. I don't just lay them on carpet. But I always do full front. I do a close up of here. I do the butt. And I do the full back. And then I'll do a fold over. That way you could see the front and you can see the hem. I'll insert some examples right here. Now I talked about doing free shipping on all of my jean listings. So regardless of how much the jeans sell for, regardless of if they're a category one, two, three, four, or five sale price, they always ship the same way for me. I always ship them in priority flat rate envelopes. And this is the process that I use, okay? Depending on how I'm feeling, I usually ship with a legal size flat rate priority envelope, okay? You can ship jeans in here. You just need to stick them in here in a nice way because if it's crazy lumpy, it's gonna come back to you. If they're a really large size jean and it's going to be lumpy in here and hard to seal, you'll wanna use a padded flat rate envelope, okay? These, they're a lot more bendy, they're not the cardboard, and they're already padded, okay? This, for me, costs $5.60, this costs $5.90. Now, I am a top-rated plus seller, so I believe my discount is a little bit greater. Um, I think without the top seller discount, this one is $5.75, and this one is $6.10. And that's printing your shipping labels through eBay with a discount. So. I pay five, $5.60, I believe anybody else that's not top rated is $5.75. This one, I pay $5.90, anybody that's not top rated, it's $6.10. Pretty sure. Okay, you guys, so when I package jeans, I basically lay them like this, I'll fold them over, Sorry if this is all like crazy duh stuff, but I want to be thorough with you guys, you know? Okay, so they're folded over, and then I always fold the part in, 
that has the hem and that, and then I fold this over here, okay? This is how I fold them. This is how I find they fit in these legal flat rate envelopes the best. One more time. They're just folded over. I fold in this part first, and then I fold in this part. After that part is done, I just take a generic clear bag and I slide it in. These are not self-sealing bags, they're just generic clear bags. And I tape up the end and that's that. Next thing is I take the mailer. I always fold this part down first just so that it folds a lot easier. Okay. And then I just take the jeans and I slide them in. Then you just take this, pull the sticky off. I always start with the middle. There's that. And then I always extra reinforce. I always tape up the sides like this because it is cardboard and I do worry about it ripping. I always tape the sides. And then I do the bottom corners as well. I just take this, tape the bottom corner, tape the bottom corner, that's it. Jeans are in there. And then I just slap my label on there and call it good. What's awesome about these is it doesn't matter if the jeans weigh one pound, one and a half pounds, 1.7 pounds, it doesn't matter. In these flat rate envelopes, it doesn't matter what the weight is. If it fits in the envelope, it ships. It could even weigh two, three, four pounds. It don't matter, it fits in there. But if it starts to be really, really difficult to close, that's when you might want to move to the padded flat rate because you can just drop it in there, call it good. But I do always like to wrap any clothing items just in generic clear bags because I think that extra layer of protection is beneficial and I know that the buyers really appreciate that. It's just an extra level of care, you know? I'm sure you've noticed that I didn't talk about doing them in auction. I don't do jeans in auction anymore. I don't. I found that the sale price that I wanna make sure that I get for the jeans, if I start the auctions at that price, nobody bids on them. Nobody bids on them. I can start an auction at $14.99 with free shipping. Nobody bids, but I put it up for buy it now at $14.99 and they sell. So I don't do jeans at auction. Um, I did try doing jeans at auction for a while where I priced them at, um, shipping, fees, and product cost, but that starting price was like $9.99, and I was finding that they were selling for $9.99. Only one person would bid, and then I would just break even, and I got really tired of that. So doing basically all of my jeans at $14.99 with free shipping using this shipping method and using my buy price of two, no more than $3 for a pair of jeans. Um, if I sell them for $14.99 a piece with using that model, I always make at least a $5 profit on the jeans. And since I can buy jeans for the same price as I buy shirts at my Goodwill, I always go to the jeans first because with the jeans, I always get a much higher profit. So I love jeans. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this video helped you. If you've been looking for a way to get into doing jeans or if you had questions about doing jeans, um, that's just how I do it. Maybe other people do it a little bit better. I don't know, but that's how I do it. That's how I've been successful doing it over the last decade. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. You can also email me. My email is in the video description. And if you haven't subscribed to me, I hope you will. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys with my next video. Bye.